Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this little mini guitar. It's three inches long. I did make it with a G hook. The pattern for this is listed down below in the description with a link. And if you want this to be smaller, you can use a smaller hook like a D or an F. You can put a little pin on the back of this to use it as a guitar pin, which you could sew it on. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, start off with a slip knot onto your hook. Chain seven. Slip stitch in the beginning chain to create a ring. Slip stitch or chain one. Two single crochet in the chain seven. So insert your hook in that chain seven ring. Grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops for a single crochet. And then repeat one more. And then yarn over, half double crochet in that ring. Grab that yarn, yarn over, pull through three loops, two single crochet in the ring again, one more, chain one, slip stitch, pull through the loop, Chain one, double crochet, and then work eight treble yarn over twice, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two more. That's one, work seven more treble in the ring. Grab the yarn, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so you have eight, and then you're going to double crochet again. Chain one, slip stitch. Chain one. Work two single crochet in the ring. half double crochet and then two single crochet now the neck of the guitar going to chain seven
So you're going to continue on and then you're going to do stitches in the second chain from the hook. So to start off, you're going to do a single crochet. So one, two is a second chain, single crochet. Then half and that same stitch. There's going to be a few stitches <clears throat> in that second chain from the hook. Now double crochet in that same and then half in that same stitch and then double crochet and then half double crochet and then single crochet and then chain one and then slip stitch and then you're going to single crochet in the remaining stitches When you get down to the last single or stitch in the single here, then you're going to yarn over to pull through to fasten off. So pull through, then you're going to take your yarn needle and then in that beginning stitch here, you're going to pull through to finish. And then you can weave in all your ends here. So in the back, you can weave in your ends. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the end, and you can put a little pin on the back if you wanted to, to make it a pin. Okay, so thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already.